Alright, this is YBR with some more Black Mesa Slash Half-Life. This is going to be a short video, but it's going to have lots of details. First off, this little area, it's more of a silo now versus a cave. You still got dead bodies, but now they're burnt to a crisp. Ew. So just throw it in the water because that's logical. Uh, down here, usually you'd have a fan in Half-Life that could suck you up. There's no such fan here, it's just freedom. There's also two holes you could choose from to come out of in Half-Life, just the one here. Half-Life, it's kind of a square area you come out of, so you come out right where you want to be. Here, it's a circular area, so you kind of have to swim around until you get to where you need to go if you come out the wrong direction. Over here, we have pretty much the same visually, except for that mixer right there. That is a huge visual difference, but for the most part, it just adds detail. Like, that's why the water's flowing. It's being pushed around by the mixer. But the pipes and the lower level, it's all there, and it's all pretty similar. Now here's something I struggle at, the ladder. If you see this edited up, it's because I missed this thing. Okay, I didn't. Good. I've literally missed that ladder six times so far today, trying to record this. Not even joking. That is a terrible thing. So both games here have a power and first aid system. You can grab both. Easy. And uh, now we can move over to here. One visual difference is this platform goes on a lot deeper. It actually goes all the way to the wall with some compressors at the wall. Both games have a ladder you can go up, uh, only one in Black Mesa. Half-Life has two ladders because it doesn't go all the way to the wall. So they have a ladder on two, edge, uh, two different edges. This one only has it on the one. Uh, anyways, moving on. You have to go across this pipe in both games. Half-Life, you want to go left. Black Mesa, you want to go right. It's kind of disorienting, but that's what you want to do. The reason for this is how you get down is different. In Black Mesa, you go here and you walk around, kind of. Half-Life, you jump down. It's a different thing. you got to see it to know it, but it's totally different. Continuing on, we can go up here. And it's pretty much the same where you just go and, dra and travel along. One major difference is if you jump down here, in Half-Life, you'll actually get fed through the system and you'll come back out where the mixer is. It's an amazing system somehow it does that. I don't see what its purpose is, but it does that. Isn't that neat? Uh, it doesn't do that here, though. You just die. There's no way to get back up. Which is why I quicksaved right before I jumped. So, in both games, you have a a wheel you need to pull. Uh, Half-Life, it's uh, you can look at what you're pulling and see it move. I mean, in Black Mesa, you can do that, excuse me. In Half-Life, you can't look at it. In Half-Life, it's kind of a... You have to blindly pull the wheel, and then you look over, and it's like, Oh, the pipe is there. Alright, so, wish me luck. This is actually a difficult jump for me. So, in. Right, so, first, jump across. And jump again. Ooh, that was bad. I didn't jump. Uh, Half Life, actually, there's a hole there. Black Mesa. Black Mesa, the pipe's just not attached, but Half Life, it actually attaches and there's a hole in it. Uh, but. You know, that's, uh, that's this video. Like I said, it was going to be really short with a lot to say. I'm still talking and it's loading. Um, well, I'm always doing that, though, so that doesn't count. Anyways, till next time, this is YBR. See ya.